This final letter says, Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Uh, it simply says, Jesus is one true God, but Son of the one true God? <laughs> Jesus is the one true God, uh -huh. but Son of the one true God? So obviously you want to know whether Jesus Christ was God or the Son, Son of God. God. Right. Amen. All right, let me open that up, and I want to take my time and get a trail mix of scriptures. Amen. So you better pay attention to me real good. Let us understand the nature of God. That's right. John First, chapter let four. us know God's nature. John chapter 4 and at verse 24. Parliament. God is a spirit. I want the nature of God. Also, get the nature of angels. Mm -hmm. And get the nature that God did not take on. That's right. That's right. I want the nature of God, the nature of angels, That's and it. the nature that God did not. Yeah, That's right. yeah, did not That's right. take on. Mm -hmm. Now, viewers and listeners, God is a spirit. God is a spirit. Spirit, he's eternal. That's it. Perpetual, mm -hmm. celestial, mm -hmm. everlasting, mm -hmm. have no beginning, have no ending. Amen. God don't have a birthday. That's right. Amen. God is everywhere. That's Amen. right. God is in the universe, mm -hmm. and listen to what I'm about to tell you, and above the universe. That's right. Go ahead. Yeah. That's right. I say God, God. the yeah. eternal spirit, mm -hmm. is in the universe. Mm -hmm. Amen. And above the universe. In the book of Ephesians chapter 4. Yeah. And at verse 10. Because the word of God said, he's higher. Right. Higher. 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 Mm -hmm. Higher mm -hmm. than heaven. Heaven. Deeper than hell. Broader than the sea and longer than the earth. In the earth. Amen. That's God. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. That's the nature of spirit. Spirit. Amen. God, the spirit, was the one that breathed into Adam. That's right. Go ahead. Adam became a living soul. Yes, sir. That's right. God, the everlasting spirit. Now, the nature of the angels is the same nature that God has. In Hebrews chapter 1. Yeah. And at verse 7. What is it? And of the angels, he saith, who maketh his angels spirits. He made his angels what? Who maketh his angels spirits. And what nature do God have? God is a spirit. So the angels in heaven are not flesh and blood. That's right. The angels in heaven are not begotten like men. That's right. The angels in heaven are spirits. Spirits. Think of it. God is the only spirit mm -hmm. that didn't have a beginning. That's right. right. Wonderful, sir. wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Amen. 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 That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you getting this? Right. That's right. That's it, Pop. Wonderful. Do spirit have a beginning? It depends what spirit. That's what right. spirit? That's exactly right, sir. Wonderful. God. Because spirit. Hebrew lets me know Who that it? spirit can have a beginning. That's right. Spirits. Because he's the originator. Amen. That's right. The Bible says he's the father of it. That's Amen. right. Didn't it say so? Amen. Amen. The Bible says, should we not rather be subject, be subject. unto the father of spirits? Let's, let's read this. Amen. Let's read this. Amen. Should we not rather be subject to the originator or the father? You know the Bible talk about we have fathers in our past that have corrected us. Amen. But if we be without chastisement. Wherein all partakers. are partakers. Yes, then it says you are bastards mm -hmm. and not a son. In Hebrews chapter 12 and at verse 9. Read fast. Furthermore, we are the fathers of our flesh which correct we us. We had fathers of our flesh that correct us. And we gave them reverence. And we honor them. Shall we not much rather be in subjection? Should we not rather be in subjection? Unto the father of spirits. But wait a minute. Should we not subject ourselves to the creator of, of spirits, spirits and live? And live. That's right. right. So depending upon that spirit, yes, it has a beginning. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, but God no beginning, sir. has no beginning. From everlasting. God says. In, in Psalms 90 and verse 2. <coughs> from right? everlasting. Even from everlasting. Even from everlasting. To everlasting. To everlasting. Thou art God. So God is the only spirit. 
that don't have a beginning That's right. and don't have an ending. Mm -hmm. Only God himself. Amen. Now, God created all other spirits. He said, I create good, I create evil. evil. He created Gabriel. Yeah, he created Michael. Oh, he created good. Azariah. He created all the heavenly hosts. Yes, right. sir. In fact, in the book of Genesis, they tell you how he created the heavenly hosts, That's right. Right. which are the angels. That's right. But God, nature, spirit. spirit. Amen. Being an eternal spirit, everlasting, no beginning, no ending. We, the human family, fell. Fell. And still fallen. That's right. Adam was the first man. Get what I'm telling you. And Adam was the first earthly human being Amen. that was called Son of God. That's right. First one, sir. Wonderful. Get me. In the book Amen. of St. Luke, chapter 3. Get me, viewers and listeners and hard head blind folk. Amen. Adam was the first fleshy human being oh, yes. that was called son. son of God. That's right. Listen. In Luke chapter 3 and at verse 38. What is it? Which was the son of Enos. Which was the son of Enos. Which was the son of Seth. Which was the son of Seth. Which was the son of Adam. Which was the son of Adam. Which was the son of God. Amen. The first Adam son was God. called son of, God, son of God. God. And he was not begotten. That's, That's right. right. He was called God's son because he was made in the image of God. That's right. And he was the servant of God. Amen. And even the first son of God consists of flesh and blood. That's, That's right. right. Get That's me. Right. There never, 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 never was no flesh and blood in heaven. Never, no, no. Never, sir. No flesh and blood started in heaven. Amen. No, no. No flesh and blood came from heaven. Amen. That's right. No flesh and blood ever lived in heaven That's right. Amen. no flesh and blood Amen. ever ascended That's right, into sir. heaven Amen. flesh and blood is earthly Amen. material That's right. That's right. and flesh and blood came from the earth Amen. Jesus said that which is born Amen. of the flesh is, is flesh, flesh. that Lord which Spirit. is born Lord of the Spirit. flesh Spirit. is flesh That's right. Amen. Amen. Right. Born of the flesh. Amen. Amen. That's right Amen Adam came from the flesh. From the right. flesh. From the earth mm -hmm. yield up that body. That's right. right. Formed Amen. from the dust of the ground. Amen. Now, Amen. after God made that son yes. of God, Adam. Adam, the first Adam. The first man. The first man. Then God. Wonderful. Here, here, here. Amen. God made him first. That's Amen. right. That's it. And then God got in him. That's, that. That's Amen. right. Then he became living, living, living. Start to live. Wonderful. Uh, this is before Amen. Jesus walked here. Yes. That's right. Amen. Oh, yeah. But God, I want to itemize this. You better give me Genesis. Genesis chapter 2. Amen. And then you better give me where he made Adam without soul. Amen. Amen. And then I want to get where God breathed into Adam. Right. Living then I soul. want the world to know what is the breath of your nostrils. That's right. See, I, I, see, I got to connect all, all of this. I got to connect all, all of it. That's right. I just can't make a statement and That's then right. keep going. No, I got to connect all of it. That's, That's right. right. I said That's God right. made man first. 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 Made it first. Amen. Wonderful, sir. Nothing there but a form. That's right. No soul, sir. Nothing there but a fashion. In Second Esther chapter three. Second Esther chapter three says. And at verse five. What? And gave us a body unto Adam. He did what? Gave us a body unto Adam. He gave a body unto Adam without soul. Make sure that's off. He gave a body unto Adam. Unto Adam without soul. Without what? Without soul. Now. The first thing that Adam had was a body. That's right. But it didn't have spirit. That's right. So God breathed into him. In Genesis chapter 2 and at verse 7. What? And the Lord God formed man. The Lord God formed man of the, from, dust, of the dust of the ground. And breathed into his nostrils. And then God breathed into his nostrils. The breath of life. Now you may say, well, Pastor Jenna, you said God got in him. That's right. That's right. That's right, the breath in the nostrils. Let's find out who is that. Job chapter 27, and we're at verse 3. Says what? All the while my breath is in me. All the while my breath is in me. And the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of the, the Spirit of God is in my nostrils. What's in my nostrils? The Spirit of God. What's in my nostrils? The Spirit of God. And what did he call the Spirit of God? A living soul. What did he call it? My breath. My breath. All the while my, my breath. My breath is in me. My breath. Right. My breath. That's right. Listen, I'm going inhale God. Right. 
I'm going to exhale God. That's right. So I said, I thought God is the Holy Ghost. He is, but there's many functions for the one God. That's right. Before you receive the Holy Ghost, you got to have life. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. What did he say? All the while my breath is in me. And, 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 and what did he say he done to Adam in the book of Genesis? Back in Genesis 2 and verse 7. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. He breathed into Adam what? Into his nostrils the breath of life. And what did Job say? And man became a living soul. What did Job say? All the while my breath is in me and the spirit of God is in my nostrils. Your breath. It's your spirit. Right. Now, viewers, I want to take my time and show you part of you. You come from two different places. That's right. Oh, thank God, I want to take you deep sea diving. Amen. The human race come from two different places that's right and when you die you go to two different places that's right you see there's one part of you can't go where the other part come from that's right <laughs> yeah. that's right remember what happened in genesis mm -hmm. and then i want ecclesiastes right see what happened to you when you die back in genesis chapter 2 and at verse 7 follow me and the lord god formed man of the dust of the ground and and breathed into his nostrils and the breath of life the breath of life and man became a living soul all right the breath of man spirit of man comes from above yes. but the body of man mm -hmm. comes from the ground that's right comes from the earth that's right one part comes from heaven right the other part comes from the ground that's right now when you die, the part that comes from heaven goes back with God. That's right. And the part that comes from the earth goes back to the dust. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 7. Chapter and verse, what, did it, what is chapter and verse again? In book the book of, of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 7. All right. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. Where did the dust come from? Then shall the dust return to the earth. As it was. As it what? As it was. Was mean past. That's where it came from. Right. It used to be there. That's right. I'm, I'm building a foundation here. Amen. Dust. Go back to dust. That's right. As it was. As it was. What about the other part? And the spirit shall return unto God. Oh. Who gave it? The spirit shall return to God. Who gave it? He did what? Who gave it? Go back to Genesis. Let's see when God gave man spirit. Back in Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. What is it? And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils. He breathed into man. That's when he gave man spirit. That's right. He gave it to him. Mm -hmm. Now, after he gave man spirit, mm -hmm. because man is seen, he's temporal. And that which is unseen is eternal. Eternal. So after he made Adam, and Adam did the will of God for a period of time, Adam became disobedient. That's right. God plainly told him to touch not the tree of the knowledge, good and evil. The day you eat thereof, thank God, you shall die. Well Adam ate of the fruit, and the moment he ate, died instantly. That's right. Somebody say, you're wrong there, Pastor Jennings. Adam lived many years and died 930. Right. You can live and be dead at the same time. That's right. For the word of God says, she that live in pleasure is dead while she lives. While she lives. So while Adam was getting pleasure mm -hmm. out of eating the fruit, right. he experienced death. death. What is it about him die? The will of God died in him. Mm -hmm. He still helped God shape. And he still helped God fall. And he still helped God fashion. But the prophet said, our first father has sinned. Sin. He fell. He failed the Lord. O thou Adam. Listen at this. In the book of 2nd Estrus, chapter 7, and at verse 4. O thou Adam. What hast thou done? What have you done? For though it was thou that sinned. It was you that have sinned. Thou art not fallen alone. Now, thou didn't fall alone. But we all that come of thee. Do you hear that? Amen. I told you man been falling ever since. Mm -hmm. So, 
after Adam fell and man began to multiply and Adam had two sons, Cain and Abel. Abel was murdered by Cain and then Adam and Eve knew each other again and Seth came on here and Seth begot Enos and Enos begot Canaan and Canaan begot Melil and Melil begot Jared and Jared begot Enoch and Enoch begot Lamech and Lamech begot Noah. And Noah begot Shem, and Shem begot Arphax, and Arphax begot Canaan, and Canaan begot Phalak, and Phalak begot Ragar, and Ragar begot Sarah, and Sarah begot Nahar, and Nahar begot Terah, and Terah begot Abraham. That's right. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Generation. Hallelujah. After generation. Right. Was all contaminated That's right. because of our first father's sins. Yeah. God sent prophets to warn the world that a perfect sacrifice was coming. That's right. Oh, you bear in mind, they tried to get rid of their sins, mm -hmm. they offered up lambs, but not even then could it be any type of lamb. That's right. You had to do a lamb inspection. Yeah. Had to be perfect. Perfect. Couldn't be lame. Mm -hmm. You couldn't have one eye out. Right. Couldn't be crippled. Right. Mm -mm, no, no, no. Uh, why? Because it was symbolic to a perfect offering. That's right. So when they offered the lamb and the priest will put his hands upon the head of the goat and the priest will confess his, his sins, sins and the sins of all the people upon the goat. Upon then the goat. after that a fit man will come and lead the goat away. Leading the goat away represent the taking away of the sins of the people. That's right. Not that the sins actually was taken away. That's right. But it was symbolic. Symbolic. <clears throat> I just want you to hear me and follow me. Mm -hmm. God still was spirit. That's right. But sent prophets, thank God, mm -hmm. to testify of a marvelous work. That's right. That he would do in the earth. Yes. In fact, one scripture says, a new thing, mm -hmm. hallelujah, hallelujah, will be performed yes. in the earth. Yes. Something new God will do. That's right. That he never done before. That's right. What was that new thing? The Bible said, a new thing shall he do in the earth that a woman shall, shall a virgin, a woman. You better read this. In Jeremiah chapter 31, we're at verse 22. Listen. How long wilt thou go about thou backsliding? How long would you leave the Lord? Mm -hmm. uh, for the Lord. For the Lord. Has created a new thing. He's going to do something that he never done before. A new thing in the earth. It's something new. That's right. Go ahead, take God in the earth. A woman. A woman. Shall come past a man. Shall come past a man. That's <laughs> right. Hey. That's right. She going to come past a man, a woman. God going to do something new. New. Lord, take God, all the men going to pass right by her. That's right. None of them going to stop at her body. That's right. None of them. Amen. Amen. So that lets you know that prophecy have things reserved. Reserved. Now blood ran down like streams. Mm -hmm. Why? Because man just offered up lambs and bullocks and heifers and turtle right. doves. And the prophets were good. They done the will of God according to what God gave them. That's right. But the human family needed redemption. Amen. Needed to be redeemed. That's right. Needed to be connected to God. Mm -hmm. So God searched. Mm -hmm. Bible said heaven was searched. Earth searched. Earth was searched. And he even went down underneath the earth. Under the earth. They searched out and said... No man was found worthy. Right yeah. then, he let you know he was looking for a man. That's right. That's right. He was looking for a man because he said no man was found worthy. That's right. No man so in open the book mm -hmm. and looked the seven seals thereof. And John said, I, I wept much. Wept much. Because no man was worthy to open the book. And one of the elders spoke to John and said, don't cry. Weep not. Mm -hmm. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed. So God began to touch the mouth of the prophets. Right. They let them know a remedy will arrive. In Isaiah 11 and verse 1. Listen at this. And there shall come forth a rod. I want to just take a travel through prophecy. That's right. About the coming of Jesus. That's right. What is it? 
And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse. Give chapter and verse again. In Isaiah chapter 11, and we're at verse 1. Give chapter and verse again. Isaiah chapter 11. And at the first verse. What is it? And there shall come forth a rod. There shall come forth a rod. Out of the stem of Jesse. Out of Jesse's stem. And a branch. Look at the titles. Amen. And a branch. Shall grow out shall of his roots. Shall grow out of his roots. And the spirit of the Lord. And. <laughs> Amen. After he get here, the spirit of the Lord shall. Rest upon rest him. Rest upon him. First a rod. Rod. That's right. Thank God. Uh, I, I have to back up, you know. Jacob, glory to God, he was uh, about to die, you know. Right. And call all his sons together. That's right. He looked at Simeon and Levi and Asher and Dan and Reuben and Issachar. And thank God, but when he got to Judah, Judah. he said, Judah, thou art he. Now art he. And thy brethren shall praise. Glory to God. Uh, your brethren going to praise thine hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies it's going to be in the neck of thine enemy and thy father's children shall bow down before thee Judah is a lion's whip Judah is a lion's whip from the prey my son you're going up he stooped down you stooped down he couched as a lion you know any time a lion stooped down and couched he's ready to strike that's right ah! Lord, take God whenever a lion stoop down and couch. That's right. He's ready to strike. That's right. That let you know prophecy was getting closer. Amen. God was set now. That's right. I'm ready. Amen. Lord, take God. I have to put things in order for men redeem, redemption, and I'm ready to strike. He stooped down. Stooped down. He couched as a lion. He couched as a lion. And as an old lion. And as an old lion. Who shall rouse him up? Who shall rouse him up? The scepter shall not depart from Judah. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. Nor a lawgiver from between Nor his feet. Nor a lawgiver from now. Scepter means authority. Right. Power. That's right. Huh? That's you right. know a king got a scepter, mm -hmm. a staff, which represent power and authority. That's right. That staff is also a rod. Mm -hmm. And that rod will come from Jesse's stem. That's right. You know when a thing stem from you, it spring off. That's right. Huh? That's right. What did he say? The scepter shall not depart from Lord Judah. Lord God, I hope you can get this. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. Nor a law give it from Nor between his feet. give it from between his feet until, until Shiloh come. And when Shiloh get here, what I have? And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. What else going to happen? Binding his foal unto the vine. Wait a minute. Yes, sir. Now, when the Son of God, Jesus, would come, whom you wrote about, mm -hmm. he will bind his foal unto the vine. Unto the vine. The vine. The foal is the followers. That's right. For he said, other sheep that I had, that's not of this foal. That's right. He going to bind or gather the foal to divine. Divine. Divine was the son of man. That's right. Divine was his flesh. That's right. He said, I am the true vine. The true vine. That's right. Eh? So when he come, he going to bind the foal unto the vine. To his body. That's right. And his ass is coat. His ass is coat. Unto the choice vine. Don't you hear him tell his disciple? You tell him, man, I would like to borrow his coat, you know. And he rode upon him. That's right. To the choice vine. Choice there vine. was a choice vine. Mm -hmm. Meaning that Jesus, the flesh, the Son of God, the mediator, that body was chosen of God. That's right. It was a choice vine. Choice vine. All right. He washed his garments in wine. Wait a minute. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now he will have to wash. His, his garments. garments in wine. In what? In wine. In what? In wine. And what was the wine? Read it, son. And his clothes in the blood of grapes. The wine was the blood of grapes. That's right. Now, a grape grow on a vine. Mm -hmm. The vine was the body. That's right. And just like you squeeze the flesh of a grape. That's right. The grape bleed. Amen. This vine had to bleed. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. But in order for them to bleed, they had to pierce them. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, eh? Amen. Amen. Uh, I, I, I got to backtrack some more, you know. Amen. I said, on us, child, child. Is born. Here he comes. A child is born. Is born. A child is born. Now, that's the arrival of the son. Not from heaven. No. And I, you better not tell me your son of God came from there. Amen. Well, Pastor Jennings, 
Did anything about the Son of God come from heaven? Yes. Yeah. Name. Power. Power. Spirit. Right. Knowledge. Right. Wisdom. That's right. Prophecy. Prophecy. Concerning that Son. Amen. Don't you know his name, Jesus, was inherited? Mm -hmm. The Son of God inherited his own name. That's right. Give me the first chapter of the book of Hebrews he quickly. Hebrews chapter 1. Come on, son. You're mighty slow this morning. Amen. The Bible says what? Hebrews chapter 1 and at verse 7. What is it? And of the angels he saith, who maketh his angels spirit. Yeah. And his ministers a flame of fire. And? Hebrews chapter... Who by inheritance he obtained... A more excellent name than the angels. Than the angels. Than the angels. Now think of this. Mm -hmm. Jesus' name is more excellent than Gabriel's name. That's right. Isn't it? That's right. Jesus' name is better than Micah. Amen. Jesus' name is better than yours. That's right. What did he say? In Hebrews chapter 1 and at verse 4. Says what? Being made so much better than the angels. Wait a minute. Get the language of the Bible. Being made so much Get better. Get the language of the Bible. He was what? Made. What? Made. What? Made. The Son of God was what? Made. The begotten Son was what? Made. The flesh of the Son was what? Made. The body of Mary birth was what? Made. Made. Hold that. I want to build on the word made. Amen. And let's see what was he made of. Amen. Listen. Now in Philippians chapter 2. Bible says he was made mm. of a woman. That's right. Made of a woman. In Galatians chapter 4 and at verse 4. Made of a woman. That's I right. want this to be good for every so-called apostolic church that said the Son of God was in heaven and came from heaven. Come tell me that. Mm -hmm. Say if I don't make you lick it up all the way from earth into heaven. Amen. Hmm? Listen at this. In Galatians chapter 4 and at verse 4. What is it? But when the fullness of the time was come. You see, when the right time came. God. Listen. The Spirit. Sent forth his Son. Where did God send his Son from? Made of a woman. No, made in heaven. Made of a woman. Made in heaven. Made of a woman. Made in heaven. Made of a woman. Come tell me the Son of God came from heaven. That's you right. see, this is a mystery. That everybody don't know. Right. The Bible says great is the mystery of God. In Godliness. It. God was manifested in the flesh. That's right. Now, God was manifested in the flesh. God did not become flesh. No, no, no. He made it, then took it on. That's right. And then manifested himself in it. In it. That's right. Why could Jesus walk on water? God was manifesting him in the flesh. In the flesh. Why could the Son of God say, Lazarus, come forth? That's right. Because God, God was, was manifesting manifest. himself. That's right. In it. In the flesh. Why could he turn water into wine? Because God the Spirit was manifesting himself in, the flesh. in it. In the flesh. Are you getting it? That's right. What did Galatia say? Made of a woman. Made. Made. made made of a woman don't tell me the son of god came from heaven he was made made of and a the woman. bible give you the location where he was made made under the law made when under the law during what period of time under the law that wasn't the law of moses in heaven no the law of moses is right here that's right made of a woman Made of a woman. Made under, under the law. To redeem them. Wait a minute. To redeem who? To redeem them. Where? That were under the law. That's not heaven. No. It ain't nobody in heaven need to be redeemed. That's right. It took blood to redeem. That's right. And God didn't have no blood. Amen. So God went to the house of David and got in the tribe of Judah. Thank God and made a body. After he made it, he took that body on and the body. Yeah. The body that God made was called son. Son. Prophet. Mm -hmm. Apostle. Right. Lamb. Right. God is not an apostle. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. God is spirit. Mm -hmm. No man can say God the eternal spirit was an apostle. No. No, no. The flesh was the apostle. That's right. An apostle is sent. Yeah. An apostle is called. Mm -hmm. And an apostle is taught. Amen. You can't teach God. No. You can't teach the spirit. No, no. The spirit know everything. That's right. Ah! That's right. Hallelujah to God. Amen. So when you get the body, 
Look at the titles of the body. Mm -hmm. Son of God, son of man, lamb, mediator, prophet, apostle, messiah, sheep, stone, Lower. Lower. Go on, say he's called Lower. Yes. That's right. What if God talk about the Son again? In Hebrews chapter 2 and at verse 9. Says what? But we see Jesus. We see Jesus. Who was made. There you got made again. That's right. Who was what? Who was made. He was made how? A little lower. A little lower than what, son? Than, than the angels for the suffering of death. Now, wait a minute. He was made a little lower than the angels. The nature of the flesh is lower than the nature of spirit. That's right. The Bible says, who maketh his angels spirit. Spirits. So the nature of the flesh is lower than the nature of the spirit. Right. So God Almighty went and made a body, and the body was lower, but the God that made that body was highest. That's right. Hold that and go to Luke. Luke. I want to deal with highest and lower mm -hmm. and show you the separation of the nature of spirit and flesh, human and divine. That's right. Here, get this. In Luke chapter 1 and at verse 32, he shall be great. He shall be great. And shall be called the son of the highest. He shall be called the son of what? Of the highest. You can't get no higher than the highest. That's right. The flesh was called the son of who? Son of the highest. All right, then what did Paul preach? But we see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angels. He was made a little what? A little lower than the angels. And what did Gabriel tell Mary? He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And what did Paul say? But we see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angels. There was something higher and there was something lower. That's right. Son of God was lower. But the spirit was, that was in highest. him, highest. Highest. Now after God got here in flesh. That's right. Notice my language. God was in flesh. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5. God was in that flesh. That's right. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. And at verse 19. And verse 19. To wit. To wit. That God. Where, where was God located? Was in Christ. Why was he in Christ, son? Reconciling the world unto himself. Wait a minute. He used that flesh so the world can get back to him. That's right. Notice the language of the book. To wit that God was in Christ. God was in Christ. Reconciling the reconciling, world. Reconciling, 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 reconciling. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Right. That's how he reconciled the world. Unto himself. And who was he pulling the world to? Himself. Who? Himself. For me to get to the spirit. That's right. I had to first accept the performance of son. That's right. That's why Jesus said, I'm the door. I'm the door. I'm the door. I am the door. I'm the mediator. That's right. If you want to get to the divine life, mm -hmm. you have to connect yourself to the natural life. That's right. So here Jesus was walking here. Human. Divine. Inner man. God. Outer man. Son. Right. Now, there was two lives there mm -hmm. in Mary's body. In St. John chapter 5. There was two lives in Mary's body. That's right. Here, here, here now. St. John chapter 5 and at verse 26. What is it? For as the Father. As the Father. Hath life. Wait a notice the language. Mm -hmm. Father hath life. In himself. His life is everlasting, perpetual, without beginning, without ending. That's right. But what else did he do? For as the Father hath life in himself, what happened? so hath he given to the Son. Wait a minute. He gave the Son what? To have life Where? in himself. You see, the Son of God, life was given to him. Right. And it was given to him by Spirit, God, Father, Jehovah, Creator. That's right. So when we preach Jesus Christ as God, we ain't talking about flesh. No. 
The flesh was lower. That's right. Let, let's get scripture where the flesh showed you that he was lower. That's right. The flesh said, I nothing. do nothing of myself. Of myself. Of myself. I can't do nothing on my own. That's right. I need some help. That's right. Someone say, God need help? No. What need help? Son of God. St. John chapter 8 and verse 28. Here, here preachers, here, hear this now. Then said, John, John 8, 28 says. Then said Jesus unto them. Then said Jesus to them. When ye have lifted up the Son of Man. When ye have lifted up the Son of Man. Then shall ye know that I am he. What? And that I. I. Do nothing. Do nothing. Of myself. I can't do nothing on my own. Nothing. And one nothing. scripture says my father has sent me. That's right. And he didn't send him from heaven. That's he sent right. him from David's house. That's right. Mm -hmm. Come on. And that I do nothing of myself. What else? But as my father hath taught me. As my father taught me. I speak these things. Now wait a minute. Nobody teaches God. Mm -hmm. God knows all things. That's right. But that flesh had to be taught by the Spirit, mm -hmm. led by the Spirit, mm -hmm. instructed by the Spirit. St. John chapter 14 and verse 28. Says what? Ye have heard how I said unto you, uh -huh. I go away. I go away. And come again. If ye love me, ye would rejoice. Yeah. Because I said I go unto the Father. Yeah. But my Father. My Father. Is greater. Is better. Than I. Than I. That's right. Greater. Here he's talking about the spirit is greater or greater. better or superior to his body. That's right. After God made that body, that body wasn't greater than God. No. God was greater than that body. St. John chapter The body two. sleep. Right. God don't sleep. That's right. Hmm? That's right. God don't sleep. No. Tell us here to Pastor Jennings, what about the scripture that says the word was made flesh? Mm -hmm. First John. First John. Or rather St. John. John chapter 1. Chapter 1. I'll break that down because a lot of you dumb apostolic preachers said that means God became a man. No, it don't mean that at all. No, no. No, God remained God. That's right. Uh-huh. All right, come on. St. John chapter 1, we'll start at verse 1. All right. In the beginning was the word. In the beginning, God used words or speech to bring creation into existence. And the word was with God. The word was with God, meaning he's a God of his word. That don't mean no son was with him. No. Because he was out there alone. He said, there is no God with me. That's right. There is no God before me, neither shall they be after me. That's right. Uh -huh. And the word was God. The word was God. The same was in the beginning the with God. The same was in the beginning with God. Down at verse 14. All right. And the word. The word. Was made flesh. And after the word made flesh, what did the flesh do? And dwelt among us. You see, God used word, word. to make flesh. That's right. In other words, he spoke it into existence. That's right. That's why the prophet's been prophesying. Mm -hmm. But thou Bethlehem Ephrathah, though thou may be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come unto me, that is to be the ruler in Israel whose going forth has been from old to everlasting. Right. Even the Son of God let you know that the spirit that made him was here before him. That's right. Over that God here, they got into a conversation, you know. And he told him to Abraham. You better read that Psalm my day. St. John chapter and 8. And was glad. That's right. Listen. St. John chapter 8, we're at verse 55. What is it? Yet ye have not known him, uh -huh. but I know him. I, look at here. Here's the spirit. Here's the son of man talking about the eternal God. That's right. That was in him. That's right. He told them what? Yet ye have not known him. You but, don't know him. But I know him. But I know him. And if I should say I know him not. And if I say that I don't know him. I shall be a liar like unto you. That's your problem, viewers. That's right. You don't know him. That's right. You don't have a clue who he is. Amen. That's why you got him the second person in the Godhead. Right. You don't know who he is. That's right. You got flesh and blood coming from heaven. You don't know who he is. No, no. Come on, Simon. Yet ye have not known him, but I know him. Uh -huh. And if I should say I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. Yes. But I know him. I know him. And keep his saying. And I keep what he's at. Your father Abraham. Uh-oh. Look at what Jesus is about to toss at them now. Amen. Your father, Abraham, rejoiced to see my day. He got happy. And he saw And it. he rejoiced to see my day and... And he saw it. He what? And he saw it. You mean to tell me Abraham met Jesus? He saw it. And how did, was he, how did he feel about it? And was glad. Oh. 
He ain't never said he saw the Son of God. No. No, no. Someone say, well, he said he saw Jesus. That means he saw the Son. Ah, 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 ah. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day. He saw my day. <laughs> That's right. And he saw it was what? And was glad. Well, how were the people responding? Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet 50 years old. I let old. you know they was checking his flesh out. That's right. Sometimes you can determine how old a man is by looking at his flesh. That's right. They was checking his flesh out. And that's what made them say, you, You're not, not yet, yet 50, 50 years, years old. old. You don't look quite that old. That's right. You don't look that old, Jesus. Thou art not yet 50 years old. You ain't yet 50 years old. And that was the truth. That was the truth. That was the truth. That's right. Because he started public ministry, I believe the Bible said, about, about the age of 30. Amen. You're not yet 50 years old. And, and what? And hast thou seen Abraham? Even they know. Abraham been dead hundreds right. and hundreds and hundreds of years. Then said the Jews unto him. And then said the Jews unto him. Now we know that thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead. You see, Jesus was preaching a mystery. That's right. They were looking at the body. That's right. Jesus wasn't looking at the body. No, no. You see, being that God was in that body, God can talk through that body, and then the body can talk. That's right. So here God a talk, and when God talk, he talk, he can go back further than everything. That's right. And because the people was carnal minded, they didn't know when God was talking or when the man was talking. That's right. And just like the people was then, it's the way you preachers are now. Amen. You don't know. Don't know. Hallelujah to God. Then what said the said? Jews unto him. Then said the Jews to him. Thou art not yet 50 years old. You ain't yet 50 years old. And hast thou seen Abraham? Talking about you seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them. Uh-oh. Now Amen. the flesh will back out of it. That's right. Flesh back out. Amen. Then Jesus said to him. Verily, verily, I say unto you. What? Before Abraham was. Before Abraham was. I am. I dare, listen. I dare you viewers to tell me the Son of God was before Abraham. Right. The Son of God could not be before Abraham because he took on the blood of Abraham's house. That's right, in the book of Hebrews. You can't be before Abraham. He needed blood from Abraham's house. In the book of Hebrews chapter 2. And you better give me Romans chapter 1. In Hebrews chapter 2, first and at verse 16. That's what? For verily he took not on him the nature of angels. You see, he didn't take that nature on. He had it already. That's right. The Bible said, who maketh his angels spirit, the nature yes. of God is spirit, perpetual, eternal. Right. But what did he do? For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but, what? but he took on him the seed of Abraham. He took on the seed of what? Of Abraham. The seed of what? The seed of Abraham. All right, give me Romans chapter 1. Mm -hmm. Begin at verse 1. Romans chapter 1 and at verse 1. Listen at Paul, this. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. called to be an apostle. That's what you need. An apostle. You need an apostle to unravel these scriptures. That's right. You get in there and go in that Bible, you make a mess of it. That's right. That's why you blind fellas talking about flesh and blood in heaven and flesh and blood come from heaven and three gods in heaven. and You, you get balled up over those scriptures. That's right. You need an apostle, one that walked with Jesus, talked with Jesus, and he handled Jesus. Amen. Someone said, did you handle Jesus? Yes. That's when? Right. I'm handling him right now. Amen. Yeah. Right now. Right now. Jesus said the word that I speak unto you, they are spirit. spirit. And when I handle that word, I'm handling Jesus. That's right. What did he say? Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. called to be an apostle, what is it? separated unto the gospel of God, uh -huh. which he had promised afore by his prophets yeah. in the Holy Scripture. What is it? Concerning his son. All right. This is the subject. Mm -hmm. Concerning his son, his son, Jesus Christ our Lord, Jesus Christ our Lord, which was made, which was what, which was made. Now, I dare you to tell me that Mary birthed spirit. Amen. Mary wasn't the mother of spirit. No. It was the spirit that overshadowed Mary. That's right. And it was the spirit that created the holy thing in Mary. That's right. You see, the Son of God was the thing. That's right. The holy, the holy thing. thing. Mm -hmm. It was the holy thing. Holy thing. Uh -huh. What is Concerning it? his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, what? which was made of the seed of David. And what part of 
him came from David's seed. According to the flesh. No, according to the spirit. According to the flesh. According to the spirit. To the flesh. That flesh was made. That's right. He was of the seed of David according to the flesh. According to the flesh. 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 Mm -hmm. Flesh. And declared to be the son of God. His flesh was declared to be what? The son of God. His flesh was what? Declared to be the son of God. Flesh. According to the flesh. Dare you to tell me that stuff came from heaven. That's right. God Almighty went to David's house and got a virgin that never knew a man formed the fashion. And that fashion was a shape. That shape was God form, God fashion, God figure, God image. It was the similitude of man. And that body came in the likeness of sinful flesh. flesh. Not that it had sin, but it was in the likeness of sinful flesh. That's and right. that flesh was made by the creating power of his word. That's what it means. The word was the made word. flesh. That means the flesh came here because God spoke it. Here, That's not right. that the flesh was God, but God was in the flesh, and the flesh was a covering. God was in there hiding. Hiding. That's right. How they said, "Hey, thou art a God, thou art a God that hidest that thyself." Hide. Hidest thyself. He hid himself. Oh God of Israel. Glory, glory, glory to God. You see that flesh was called a lamb. That's right. John said, Behold the Lamb of God. Within the Lamb was a lion. That's right. Couldn't see the lion. Mm -hmm. Because the lamb kept him camouflaged. Amen. Hide. Yeah. Hide us. Spirit of God healed. Baptized. Amen. And done all this work through. through. That man, Christ Jesus. That's right. Jesus was walking around here. God was in him. Mm -hmm. So when we preach Jesus as God, no, that flesh was not God. No. That flesh had the title God. That's right. But the spirit was God in that body. That's it. Now it come time for the man to die. Mm -hmm. And I want you apostolics to get this. St. John 3.16. First John epistle of John 3.16. St. John chapter 3 and verse 16. Because you preachers have said God died. Right. How foolish. How, how foolish. deceived. Mm -hmm. how, how, how backwards. How backwards. God died again. Let's first establish the nature of God. St. John, John 4 verse 4, 24. 24 says. God is a spirit. You got to keep that in mind. That's right. God is a spirit. Do you hear that? Amen. All right, now, mm -hmm. I want you to notice first epistle of John mm -hmm. 3, 16. First John chapter 3 and at verse 16. Follow me. Hereby perceive we the love of God. Look at here. Hereby. Notice the word there, love. Love. We want to look at the love of God because what did God love calls him to do? Because he laid down his life for us. What's that word there? He, his, his life, his, 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 he laid down his, his life, he laid down his, 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 are you listening? Amen. He laid down his, his, his what? His life. His what? His life. Well, wait a minute. The father life is eternal. That's right. You can't lay eternity down. No. The Father is God, and God is the Spirit, and the Spirit can't die. That's right. You can't lay down eternal. How can you lay down everlasting? Amen. So what is God talking about? What's he talking about? There was a life. His life. That was his. That's right. He belonged to it. That's right. He owned it. Mm -hmm. All right, let me show you what that life was in St. John 3, 16. St. John 3 and at verse 16. Get me. For God so loved the world. What did he do? That he gave his only begotten son. He gave what? His only begotten son. And first epistle of John 3, 16 says. He laid down his life for us. And John 3, 16 says. Gave his only begotten and son. And epistle of John 3, 16 says. Laid down his life for us. His life was his son. That's right. His life. His life. The Bible says this. He knows them better who? His. Who? His. Who? His. That body of flesh and blood belonged to God. That's right. That's why God can tell him what to do. That's right. Tell him what to do. That's right. 
I want to open your eyes. Amen. Remove the cataracts, you know. That's right. Huh? That's right. Thank God. So here's God in the body of the Son of God. Yes, sir. The Son of God inherited his name from the Spirit, the Spirit because the Bible says the name of the Lord is from everlasting. everlasting. So Jesus is the name of the flesh. And the Spirit is the Lord of the flesh. That's and right. the Spirit is the God of that flesh. And the Spirit is the Father of that flesh. And the Spirit is the originator of that flesh. Amen. And the Spirit is the teacher of that flesh. And the Spirit is the creator of that flesh. That's right. That's right. So now here's this flesh walking around with God all in it. Amen. Came in the name of him that sent him that's right and he didn't send flesh from heaven no because the flesh needed to be begotten that's right and there is no females in heaven that's right in saint john chapter 5 and at verse 40 remember the bible says mm -hmm. jesus was the only begotten 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 that's right of the father of the father only begotten mm -hmm. you got to have a woman to bring forth what's been begotten that's right i dare you to tell me mary was in heaven mm -hmm. you catholics you catholics come on and bring your lustful priests amen you tell me that mary was in heaven you're a liar it ain't no flesh ever been in heaven listen it is written no man no man has ascended up in the heaven at any, at time. any time any time at any time but he that's right that came down so the question is who came down who came down the flesh come down or the spirit that's come spirit. down that's right someone say well pastor Jennings, the bible didn't say what came down given the first chapter of the book of luke luke it's something that you overlook. That's right. But I love to look detail at things. That's right. Let's see what overshadowed mary luke chapter one and right. at verse 29 verse 29 all right and when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, uh -huh. cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. Yes. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Uh -huh. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son. Wait a minute. Thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth spirit. Bring forth a son. You're going to bring forth a son. And shalt call his name Jesus. Now hold it. I want to prove my point that the name Jesus been here before his flesh. That's right. Hold that and give me Luke 2, 21. Luke chapter 2 and verse 21. That's what? And when eight days were accomplished Hallelujah for the circumcision of the child. When eight days were accomplished for the circumcision of the child. His name was called Jesus. His name was called what? Jesus. What? Jesus. How long it been here? Which was so named of the angel. When? Be before. When? Before. When? Before. When? Before. Before what? He was conceived in the womb. Before he got here, the name was here. That's right. Before conception even happened, the name was here. That's right. Glory to God. All right, go back to the first chapter of the book of Luke. I got to build on a good foundation. Back in St. Luke 1 and verse 31. All right. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. Thou shalt conceive in thy and womb. And bring forth a son. That's where the sonship started right there. In thy the womb. The sonship started in the womb of Mary. That's right. In the tribe of Judah. Mm -hmm. In the house of David. Mm -hmm. Because God needed some flesh and there was no flesh in heaven. God needed some blood and there was no blood in heaven. That's right. And every sacrifice that was offered in the Old Testament when they got a lamb, they had to cut it so it cut could it. bleed. That's right. God can't bleed. Amen. So God made flesh. Yeah. And the flesh was called lamb. Lamb. When John lamb said, behold God. the lamb of God, that means behold the sacrifice of God or behold the offering of God. That's right. What did he say? And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. Thou shalt conceive right there, viewers, 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 right there. I swear the Son of God started right there. That's right. There was, I dare you to tell me that God Almighty had a begotten Son in heaven. In heaven. You fool. That's a fool. Don't you hear the Bible talking? And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. In where? In thy womb. No, in heaven. In thy womb. If you don't know what the womb is, write me. Amen. The womb is a woman's birth canal. That's right. Huh? That's it. Thou shalt conceive. In thy womb. In thy womb. And bring forth a son. The son going to come from the womb. That's right. Uh -huh. And shall call his name Jesus. Shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great. He shall be great. And shall be called the son of the highest. Yes. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. I want to show you what, over, what came on. All right. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Uh -huh. Then said Mary unto the angel, 
How shall this be? Uh, that way, Mary was just as ignorant like you are, preacher. That's right. I ain't had a clue how it was going to be. That's right. It was already extraordinary, out of the ordinary, Amen. full of the mystery and the wisdom and the knowledge of God. It wasn't a common thing. It wasn't an ordinary thing. It was an extraordinary thing. That's right. All right. Then said Mary unto the angel, how shall this be? How shall this be? Seeing I know not a man. I don't know a man. And the angel answered and said, all right. Now here's the angel that God gave him knowledge of. Mm -hmm. Listen at this. The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. I told you. That's what came down. Came down from heaven. Not flesh. No. Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. How in hell ain't no Bible that said Holy Ghost come from heaven? James said every good gift, every perfect gift come from where? Above. Come from where? Above. Then he said it come down. Down. From the Father of light. That's right. Lord, thank God everywhere you run, I knock you clean over. Listen. The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. And the power of the highest. And the same thing that come upon thee is the power of the highest. And it's going to deal with you so much. What's the effect? It shall overshadow it's you. It's going to take you over. Therefore also. Therefore. That holy also, thing. That the same thing that come on you. Now he's going to create something in you. That holy thing. It's a thing. Which shall be born of holy. thee. And when it's born of thee, shall be called the Son of God. That's where the sonship started. Right. Not in heaven, and Mary's body. That's right. In the womb. In the womb. Now, when the Bible said the word was made flesh, that simply means that God brought flesh into existence by the creating power of his word. That's All it. right, let's finish balancing out John 3.16 mm -hmm. and first epistle of John 3.16. I want to finish that up mm -hmm. because I got to get him to the cross, you know. That's right. Huh? That's right. I got to get him to the cross. You know, God being in that body, that body can talk like a man, like it was, and then God will talk with a spirit or creator of the man. That's so right. he can alternate. He can talk as God when he get ready. He can talk as son of God when he get ready. Mm -hmm. You couldn't see God, but you can hear the power of God and the thunder of God and the force of God and the wisdom of God and the presence of of God and the power of God. That's right. You can see that. All right. Back in St. John 3 and verse 16. All right. For God so loved the world. All right, preachers. You come on and jump on me about the Son of God. I do like the gangsters used to say in the 1930s. I take you for a ride. Amen. Eh? Amen. All right. What you have, son? For God so loved the world. God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. His son was his life. That's right. It was not his eternal life. But it was the natural life that he made for sacrifice purposes. That's right. Now, death was needed. Yeah. Glory to God. Death was needed. Blood was needed to be shed. That's right. And remember the purpose of him making flesh was for the shedding of blood. That's right. God Almighty being the eternal spirit, the father of the universe, had no blood. Mm -hmm. Spirit don't have blood. Mm -hmm. I said, spirit, I said, don't have blood. God is so spirit. God made a body and got blood. That's right. And blood was in that body, which was the natural life of the body. For as much then. Listen at this. In Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 14. For as much then as, as the, the children, children are, partakers are partakers of flesh and blood. Flesh and blood he also himself he also likewise, likewise himself took part, took of, the part same, of the same. That through death. That what? That through death. Why did he get blood? Through death. Why did he get blood? That through death. He wanted to do some dying. That's right. He might destroy him. That what? That had the power of death. Uh -huh. That is the devil. Now, here he is hanging on the cross. Who? The son of God. And God was still in that. Tell him, say, God was hanging there. God don't have to hang. God is everywhere. That's right. Son of God was hanging there. That's and right. God was in there. Mm -hmm. They didn't pierce God. No. They pierced the son of God. Yeah. Because you can't pierce spirit. That's right. Huh? Come on, preachers. What you going to do with this? You couldn't pierce God. You going to try piercing spirit. You go right through it. Go right through it. The Bible says this. They shall pierce my hands and feet. My feet. Let the habitations be desolate. And let no one dwell there in their tents. And that which have been for welfare, let it they become a trap. trap. Somebody say, well, they pierced God's feet. No, they did not. Yeah. Think of it. If they were to pierce the feet of God... Let me just give you an example how unmeasurable his feet is. Right. The Bible says the clouds are the dust of his feet. Of his feet. Of his feet. The Bible says, talking about God, the eternal spirit, the clouds are the dust 
of his feet. Of his feet. How big is that? That's right. How big is that, fools? Amen. You that said that God Almighty, the spirit was pierced. No, that body was made to die for us. In Zechariah. Listen at this. In Zechariah chapter 14 and at verse 10. Says what? All the land shall be returned or at verse 6. All right. And it shall come to pass in that day that the light shall not be clear nor dark. Yes. The Bible said they shall look upon me whom they, whom have, pierced. they have pierced. And they all looked at him. Right. They all looked at him and scourged him and gnashed their teeth upon him. But the purpose of dying was for the shedding of blood. That's Don't right. you hear the Bible say without the shedding of blood, no there is no remission of sins. Of sins. Right. You have to have the shedding of blood and the spirit can shed blood. That's right. So here you got a body hanging on the cross, which is the mediator between God and man. Hanging there. Mm. Earth got covered in darkness. Amen. Hung dead. I believe the Bible says from the sixth to the ninth, to the hour. ninth hour. Amen. Mm -hmm. People was gathering there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's he save others. Let's see, can he uh, save himself. Uh, himself? If he be the king of Israel, listen at this Matthew chapter 27 and at verse 42. What is it? He saved others, he saved others himself. He cannot save. That's what you think, right? He could have done what he wanted to do, but that's right. Prophecy, prophecy knelt him back. Right. He had to go there. He may struggle, but he couldn't come down before time. That's right. He had to do a complete job. That's right. Don't you hear him say destroy this temple? He didn't say destroy God. No. <laughs> he said destroy this temple. This temple. But in three days, I raise it up. Raise it up. He couldn't destroy God. Amen. For God is not a temple. That's right. God is not a temple. That's right. God is the head of the temple. Of the temple. And the maker of the temple and God dwell in the temple. That's right. Are you getting me? Amen. So here he's hanging there now. Between heaven and earth, the Son of God. While he was there, he cried out, Eli, Eli. Lema Sabbatini. The flesh was acting the spirit. Why are you leaving me? He says, My God, my God. Why hast thou forsaken me? Why hast thou forsaken me? Forsaken. Why are you leaving me? Right. Why, 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 why are you departing from me? That's right. The spirit had to come out that body so the body could die. Right. Coming out that body represent the spirit offering the body. That's right. Don't you hear the word of God said that he offered up that body That's once for, for all, all through the eternal spirit. eternal spirit. Mm -hmm. So when the spirit came out, the body was offered up. That's right. The body, after it died, was pierced. Mm -hmm. Not before. That's right. After. After he died. Huh? That's right. After he died. That's right. Not before. You see, uh, you know, it's common that they'll break the legs of the thieves, you know, when they're crucifying them and they broke the thieves' legs and whatnot. But when they went to Jesus, his leg was already broken. But when they came to Jesus. Or rather, or rather he was already dead. Right. And they, and they couldn't break his legs. That's right. He was already dead. Right. All right. In St. John chapter 19 and verse 33. Uh -huh. But when they came to Jesus. When they came to Jesus. And saw that he was dead already. Say he was already dead. They break not his legs. They didn't break his legs. But one of the soldiers with a spear. What? Pierced his side. Notice the, the soldier had another role to fulfill. That's right. Prophecy said that not a bone would be broken. Mm -hmm. Not a bone would be broken. Right. So when they came to Jesus, they couldn't do nothing. That's because right. Because the Bible said not a bone would be broken, so they couldn't touch him. Right. So they had to do something else. Prophecy said they shall look upon me whom they had pierced. pierced. So they had to fulfill that. That's right. They pierced him. What? Out came. Listen, listen at this. One of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side. Yeah. And forthwith came there out blood and water. Glory to God. Now, when the blood of the Son of God came out. Amen. I want you to listen and listen and listen well so you don't keep walking around deaf, ignorant, and dumb. Hmm. When the blood of a person comes out, mm -hmm. then the natural life of that person 
come to an end. That's right. And you see the end of that person. That's right. Yeah? They come to an end. Why? The Bible said the life of all flesh lieth in the blood. In St. John chapter, in St. James. Now there's something about the Lord that had to come to an end. Right. Look at what I'm about to pitch to you, preachers. Preachers, preachers. Listen at what I'm about to say. The Lord is eternal. And the Lord came to an end. That's right. Can you figure that out? Figure that out. Come on, write me back. I would love for you to come in here. Amen. I said the Lord always was and always will be. Mm -hmm. But the apostles saw him come to an end. In St. James. Can you figure that out? Right. Oh, the Lord ain't never come to an end. All right, let's read the book of James. St. James chapter 5 and at verse 11. Read it quick. And I've seen the end of the Lord. Get, begin at verse 10. Get and all of it. Take my brethren, the prophets, uh -huh. who have spoken in the take name of brethren, the Lord. Take my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name spoken of the Lord. Spoken in the name of God. For an example of suffering, an example affliction, of suffering. and of patience. Uh -huh. Behold, we count them happy. We count them happy. Which endure. Uh -huh. You have heard of the patience of you Job. You heard of the patience of Job. And have seen the end. And we have seen. The end. The end. Of the Lord. What does that mean, preachers? Amen. If there's a natural body of flesh and blood in heaven, what is it about the Lord came to an end? An because end. remember, Jesus also said, you shall see me. No more. No more. Yet they saw him again That's after right. the resurrection. That's right. Can you figure that out? Now you know Jesus can't lie. That's in and Saint, he said, you shall see me. No more. Didn't he say so? In St. John chapter 16. You see, this is the mystery, false prophets. That's right. And uh, you're not able. Yeah. Notice, I say, in fact, the Bible said, never able. Never able. The coming to the knowledge of the truth. That's right. Give chapter and verse again. St. John chapter 16, we'll start at verse 7. All right. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. Jesus said, I got to leave you. For if I go not if away, I don't go. the comforter will not come unto you. By what? But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Uh -uh. And when he has come, he will prove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. What? Of sin, because they believe not on me. Uh -huh. Of righteousness, because I go to my Father. I'm gone to the Father, meaning I'm gone back to spirit. And ye and you see me no more. Preachers, Jesus said, mm -hmm. you ain't going to see him again. No more. But yet they saw him after the resurrection. That's right. Can you figure that out? Figure that out. Write me back and tell me what is it about him they never saw again. Amen. No more mean no more. No more. No more mean no more. That's right. But yet they saw him again. Saw him again. One scripture says no more. No more. And another scripture says he was seen of me. Seen of me. <laughs> That's right. Can you figure that out, preachers? That's right. You would never see him again the way he was right. walking this earth with blood. That's right. The Son of God ended on the cross means that the natural life of the human body ended on the cross. That's, it. That's what that statement means. Right. That the natural life, the life of all flesh life lieth the, where? In the blood. Where? In the blood. For the life of the flesh, Listen. in the book of Leviticus chapter 17 and verse 11, for the life of the flesh is in the blood. Now, blood cut out. The sonship, which means what made him a relative of the house of David. Right. That's what was coming out. Blood. His relation. That's right. Mm. Now, the only thing that was left was flesh and bones. Flesh and bones. That was laid in a sepulcher. In the, sepulcher. the spirit was preaching. Mm -hmm. Now he had to come back. If blood would have came back in that physical body, he would have came back a natural, a natural, natural. a natural, a natural son. That's right. If blood would have came back in, he would have came back a natural son. That's right. So lives, I want you to get this. I hope you can get this preacher, preacher, preacher. Yeah. He switched lives. Mm. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. I said he switched lives. That's right. Blood kept on functioning when he was here on earth. Mm -hmm. 
But he lost that. Right. So another life had to come from somewhere. That's right. Who was that life source? God. God. So that's what the Bible said in the 15th chapter. Of the book of 1 Corinthians. And we'll start at verse 35. Listen. But some man will say. Some man will say. How are the dead raised up? How are the dead raised? What is that man that talk like that? Thou Read fool. It, son. Thou fool. My God, you're mighty slow for this morning. Tell the devil, get behind you. What did he say? But some man will some say. Some man will say. How are the dead raised up? How are the dead raised up? And with what body do they come? The body. That's the topic. Right. What body would they come? Thou fool. When they don't have the mystery, what are they? Thou fool. When they don't know, what are they? Thou fool. What is it? That which thou sowest is not quickened except now, it I die. Now, I want everybody to get this. That which thou sowest is not quickened except it die. And that which thou sowest. Uh -huh. Thou sowest not that body that shall be. But what? But bear grain. Hold it. How many here worked on the farm? Raise your hand. When you plant corn, do you plant a stalk? You don't plant stalks, do you? No way. The stalk is the body that shall, shall be. be. Do you get it? That's right. In other words, the stalk is the future body of the grain. Right. But the grain first got to die That's right. and then be quickened. That's right. Now, when the grain is quickened, the grain opens up. Right. And then the grain start to transform into a new body. That's right. And the body of the stuff is greater than the body that went down. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. That's what Jesus did. Yeah. Hallelujah. You see, I, I can preach this. Amen. Because it's given unto me the notary mystery. That's right. When they plant that body. It had no blood. no blood. They plant the body, but it didn't have no blood. So without blood, he was not a son individually. That's right. But the corpse still had the title and identification of son. son. You couldn't go down there and say he's somebody else? No. How else can you identify him? Right. You had to still give him the title that he was born with, That's son. Son. So he had the title, but didn't have the natural life. That's right. But for him to come back, another life source, some another power life. had to come. That's right. So here comes the eternal life, mm -hmm. spirit, spirit, God. That's what the Bible says. He was sown. He was sown. So also is the a natural body. Right. And was raised spiritual body. So here you had a body that was natural. It was a natural body, but no natural life. That's right. Are you kidding me? That's right. Natural body, natural life. Now you may say, how can you have a natural body with no natural life? Very easy. Very easy. Go to the morgue. You will see natural bodies. You won't see spirits. That's right. Natural bodies. Right. No natural life. That's right. The life of all flesh lie where? In the blood. Are you getting what I'm telling you? So here come God, the eternal spirit, the same one that made that body. He gets in the body and it raised it spiritual. So also is the resurrection of the dead. And then we're going to break down what is spiritual. Right. All right. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 42. Uh -huh. So also is the resurrection of the dead. What is it? It is sown in corruption. It is sown in corruption. It is raised. Pastor Paul itemizing the change that took place. That's right. It is raised. In incorruption. And in corruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is sown weak. It is raised in power. It came back how? In power. It came back how? In power. It came back natural. In power. It came back natural. In power. Raised in power. The Spirit of God got in it and quickened it. That means he woke it up, it up. Revived, it. revived it. And now it was raised in power. So here you had a body living by spirit with no blood. That's right. Amen. Amen. You had a body living. 
by the power of spirit. That's right. With no blood. That's right. Because the power of God is so strong and so great, it made the body put on the same glory that the spirit had. That's right. So now the body is able to behave just like spirit. Yeah. That's why it's called spiritual. spiritual. Now it got the behavior and the function yeah. of spirit. That's why when he came to the door, it, 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 well, listen, when he came from the dead, he didn't rise spirit. No. The body rose by the power of the spirit. That's right. Because when he appeared to the apostles, they thought they saw yeah, a, spirit, a, spirit. a spirit. But he said, hand to me. And see that the spirit have not flesh, flesh and bones, bones as you see me have. Now somebody said that was natural. There is no natural body that walk, talk, live, breathe without blood. Without blood. That's right. So that body lived on spirit and that's what made it glorified. That's right. So if that body was glorified and it was for Paul said he going to change our vile body. That it may be fashioned. And fashion it like unto like his, glorious, unto his body. glorious body. Tell me, preacher, preacher, tell me, who's the mother of a glorified body? Mm. Given the book of Revelation, mm -hmm. I want to get the church of Thyatira. Mm -hmm. I believe it may be about the... Uh, Revelation chapter 3, Revelation chapter 2. Listen. And at verse 18. I want to show you the change. And unto the angel of the church in Thyatira right? Unto the angel of the church of Thyatira right? These things say... No, 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 this is after he rose. After. After he rose. Right. Listen. These things saith the Son of God. What did he look like? Who hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire. And what else? And his feet are like fine bread. That ain't a natural body. Right. You preachers didn't see that. That's right. What did John say? What did John call him? These things saith the Son of God. How did he look? Which hath his eyes like a flame of fire. There ain't no natural person walk around with their eyes looking like flame. No. And his feet. And his feet. Are like fine brass. Like fine brass. Amen. But he's still known as son, son of God. Son of God. But the body, that glorified body was greater than the body that Mary birthed. That's right. Greater. Greater. Raised Come in on, power. Come on, preachers. Make me prove it. Mm -hmm. He was raised how? In power. I dare you to tell me that flesh and blood is in heaven. Right. Mm -mm. That when that body took on the same glory as the spirit. It was made just like spirit now. That's he right. can function just like spirit. Mm -hmm. Still have a shape. Still have a form. Still have fashion. Right. Still known as son, but the body is greater than the body that was born. That's right. The body that was born, seed of David. Right. The body that rose, no relatives. No relatives. <laughs> Amen. Come on, preachers. It is very deep. And if God don't give it to you, you'll walk around flesh and blood is in heaven. Yeah. Let's see can flesh and blood inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. First Corinthians 15 and verse 50. Follow me. Now this I say, brethren. Yes, I say, brethren. That flesh and blood. What? Cannot inherit the kingdom of God. No, it's in heaven. Cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither doeth corruption. Let's, well, the Bible say, wait for the sun from heaven. I believe that. Right. Oh, yeah, yes, I believe that. That's right. I believe, yes, wait for the son from heaven. From heaven. Yes, he, he still have that title and will be known as that. Right. But I dare you to tell me there's a son of God in heaven with flesh and blood. That's right. I dare you to tell me that. Mm. Come on, preachers, the invitation is yours. Amen. I'd meet you in the college, on top of the college, in the church, underground the church, on the, on the parking lot of the church. That's right. There ain't no flesh and blood in heaven. God don't want that stuff up there. Flesh and blood. Blood is for redemption. That's and right. And there's nobody in the kingdom of God in heaven that needs to be redeemed. No, no. Someone said, what about the angels? Church going to judge them. Right. Bible said the church going to judge those angels. angels. That's right. So blood is for redemption, mm -hmm. not for heaven, no. but for earth. And That's Jesus. why now we repent and go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ to get that blood. That's right. So the son of God, the origin, it, where it originated, was in the house of David, in the tribe of Judah, in the body of Mary, under the law, in the womb, right here on earth. 
the natural life of the son came to an end on the cross. The cross. And you hear him say, it's finished. it's finished. They took the body of flesh and bones off the cross, laid it in the grave, danced three days and three nights. The third day, spirit gets in that body, glorified it. Now the body is greater than it was before it went down. That's right. It's greater. greater. Until the Bible say, in that he liveth. Liveth by the power he of God. liveth by the power of God. Amen. He still had that title, son. Yeah. He still had that title right now. Right now. Amen. Right now he still has it. That's right. But he ain't walking around here in no blood. No, no, no. So no. when you say we don't believe in the son of God, sure we do. We believe in the son of God. We believe in the son of man. Mm -hmm. But we don't believe that natural life exists. And I dare you to tell me he does. Wait for his son from heaven. We'll do what? Wait for his son from heaven. I'm waiting. That's right. When Jesus appeared, he's still going to have that title, son, son. son. But he ain't going to be standing in no heavens with no blood. No. No. No, no. no. The Bible said the Lord himself. That's right. So descend from heaven Amen. with the shout. You see, this is the mystery. That's why I tell men, uh, if you don't understand this, you leave the Bible alone. Amen. Leave the Bible alone. You go get them scriptures and get them all balled up, get it all twisted up, and try to unravel something. If the Bible calls it a mystery, that means a mystery is something everybody don't know. And Jesus made it plain to his apostles who the mystery is given to. That's right. He said it's given unto you to, to know, know it. To know but aren't they done that without it? All things are done in parables. Everything is done in parables. Parables. So when you find men telling you blood was in heaven, they're liars. That's a lie. Tell all men that preach that come bring it to Pastor Jennings and see if I don't make you lick it up. I'll weave your tongue in in the carpet of your church. That's right. Blood ain't never been in heaven. No. I said, blood, and blood ain't going there. Flesh and blood came out in heaven. Behold, I show you a mystery that we shall not all sleep, but we shall be what? Changed. In a moment. Even we got to be changed. That's right. If we want to go up, we got to be changed. That's right. All be changed. Jesus told us that uh, we're not going to take on. We shall be like the angels. Give me the book of Luke real quick. Church going to be like the angels. Huh? We're going to be like the angels. And the Bible says who make of this angel spirit. We are the children of the resurrection. That's what the church going to be. Now, the way you are now, you ain't the children of the resurrection. No. Because your body is carnal. That's right. Your body is earthly. Yeah. And so when we die, and our seed, which is our body, is planted in the ground, the day of the resurrection, change got to take place. That's right. Now, when the change takes place, what ascends up to God is greater than what was placed in the grave. That's right. Bible say we all shall be what? Changed. We all shall, we all be, shall be changed. One scripture says, for we shall be like the angels, okay. for we are the children of the resurrection. That's right. So no, it ain't no flesh in heaven. Does the Son of God exist? The title? Yes. But the body that Mary birthed, flesh and blood? No. No. Well, where is the body at? Right here. Right here. What you think it means when it says, now are you the sons of God? God? We are the sons of we God. Are. We got the blood now. We got the flesh now. And we are waiting That's to right. be changed. That's right. We are waiting to be changed. That's right. We got the blood now. We got the spirit now. That's right. Waiting mm -hmm. for the resurrection. Yes, that glorified body still is identified as son. Right. And still is called son. son. When you plant that grain of corn, sometimes you'll find yourself saying, I'm planting corn. But you know there ain't no stock. But yes, eh? and listen, we're going to plant a field of corn. You don't even have the stock yet. It's got a bag for the seed. That's right. But what you're saying, I'm going to plant some corn. Mm -hmm. Talking about the body that shall be. Thou sowest not that body that shall be. You don't sow the body that shall be. But bear grain. Mary did, look, Mary birthed grain. Grain. So I'm saying, where is that at in the Bible, Pastor Jennings? Mm -hmm. The grain is seed. Seed. The Bible said, have not the scripture said that Christ cometh of the seed, seed of, David. of David. That was grain. That's right. Not God, I, I, I know my mystery. Oh, yeah. It was grain. grain. 
That's why it came from Mary's body because grain is placed in the ground. That's right. Mary's body was ground. Mary's body was earth. earth. And there was natural life in that ground. Then when that body died, that body had... How the world a body going to walk and talk with no blood? Right. God come along and took that body over. Right. Got in it, glorified. glorified. That's what he meant when he says, glorify thine me with thine own self. Yes. With the glory I had with thee before the, the world, world was. was. What was the function of the glory of God before the world was? Spirit. Spirit. But when he got in that body and got it up and resurrect that body from the dead, now he come along and glorifies it. It takes on a new title now, right. spiritual. spiritual. When a body rises, it's no longer called natural. It is sown and nowhere in the Bible when it calls the resurrected body natural. Right. Now it calls it spiritual. That's right. It has a new title because right. it has a new body. That's right. And a new function. Mm -hmm. Think of it. Handling flesh and bones and it don't open a door. Yeah. It just come through a door and appear. And appear. That, that, that's not natural. We got to go to a door and then wait for somebody to open it. Mm -hmm. He rise and then appear right to his apostles. Uh, I'm here. That's right. Walk right through it. That's right. And after eight days. Do you get me? That's right. He rise and come back and walk straight through a door. Amen. He rise and come back. That's and right. walk straight through a door. That's right. You see what offset you blind preachers when he said, handle me. Handle me. <laughs> yes, offset you. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't know what a glorified body is. Right. A glorified body is a body that lives by the power of Almighty God. And when it lives by the power of God, because, listen, because the generator of the body it's no longer blood, but spirit. Now it takes on the behavior of spirit. Right. When blood is in your body, you got the behavior of the human family. That's right. Let me, let me make it more detailed for you. All of us that have blood, that have a father, have some of our father ways. Right. Here you got a body now, live by spirit. So now the body takes on the whole actions of the father. That's right. Now he can appear, disappear. disappear. Come out of a ground, go through a room, don't open no doors. Yeah. That's the behavior of God. That's right. The God of heaven glorified that body. Now the body took on the whole complete characteristics of the spirit. That's right. Huh? Amen. Are you getting me? In St. John chapter 20 and at verse 26. What is it? And after eight days again. After eight days again. His disciples, his were, with disciples him, were with him. And Thomas with them. And what? Then came Jesus. Then came Jesus. The doors being shut. And stood in the midst. And said, peace be unto you. Wait a minute. He ain't picked no lock. No. Don't you, do you see the change, folk? Amen. Amen. You don't see him walking through walls when he had blood? No. Wasn't well, walking through walls and all that stuff when he had blood? No, no. The body that rose was greater and superior to the body that was begotten. That's right. Now he did stuff with that body that he didn't do with it when it had blood. Right. He did something greater. Greater. What was it? Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst. And said, Peace be unto you. Peace be unto you. Then said he to Thomas, What? Reach into thy finger. Oh, uh, Thomas, look, now listen. One thing, a lot of folks say, I don't want to be like Doubting Thomas. Well, Thomas was real. Yeah. And uh, he wasn't going to let you put nothing over on him. Right. Thomas was very straight up. He didn't hypocrite. Right. What did he say? Then said he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and, and behold my hand, uh -huh. and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side. So and said, he wasn't feeling spirit. That body wasn't spirit. I didn't say that body was spirit. No. I said that body lived by the power of spirit. Right. The body was spiritual. Spiritual. 
Spiritual is superior to natural. That's right. Because a spiritual body has the behavior of spirit and it also can behave like natural. That's right. That's too deep for you, preacher. Too deep for them. Too deep for you. Amen. That's just too deep for you. Right. The body that rose can behave like spirit and still can behave like natural. In St. Luke chapter Someone 24. Say, Do you have any fish and some honeycomb? That's right. Here he is eating broiled fish and a honeycomb, and, a honeycomb. and appearing and reappearing. That's right. Too deep for the colonel man. That's right. He done that to establish. He wanted to make sure, yes, it's me. Yeah. Yeah, I got to make sure when you go out and preach me, you know what you're talking. Right. Infallible proof. Infallible proof. Eh? That's right. What did he say? Then says he to Thomas, yes. reach into thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach into thy hand. Jesus said what? And thrust it into my side. What? And be not faithless, but believing. What did Thomas say? And Thomas answered and said unto Look at him, what Thomas called him after my, he rose. My Lord. And who else? And my God. You hear what Thomas called Jesus after his resurrection? Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord. There was a great change there. That's right. My Lord. And my God. Oh, my God. Amen. Amen. You dumb, ignorant, so-called apostolic fakers, flesh and blood in heaven. Come tell me that. My Lord, my Lord. You don't believe in the Son. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Sure, I do. Certainly. Certainly. You believe in it? Yes. Mm. I just don't believe that he still got natural life. Right. There was a change. That's right. When we said the Son of God ended, we're talking about his natural life. Natural life. How much plainer can I make it? Amen. When I die, my natural life ends. Right. If you see me come back three years later with no blood, and I'm walking in here. Walking around. And come right through the walls. How many of you going to still believe I'm natural? No. You know what's going to prove you're not going to believe it? You're going to run out of here. That's right. You're going to run out of here. That's right. The body that rose, human family, was greater than the body that was born. Amen. And what the body kept from birth mm -hmm. was named and title in the title but he did not keep no longer the natural life which was blood that's right the spirit took the place of the blood that's right in that he liveth now it is written he live unto god that's right still holds the title son still is known as son but he lived by the glory of god and the power of god and that body that rose is greater than the body that mary birthed leaving us an example that when we see him we shall be like him shall be like him the body that's waiting for us is greater than the body that's here now that's right We shall be like him. Shall be like him. Huh? Beloved. We yes. shall be like him. The right. Bible called us the children of the resurrection, didn't it? First John. The children of the resurrection. Thank God if you Hallelujah. Thank God. If you're gonna be the children of the resurrection, you ain't gonna be the same way you are. God don't want your old corrupt flesh and your old wicked blood up in heaven. Listen, it ain't no relatives in heaven. Nobody going to be in heaven related to nobody. Don't you hear the Bible plainly states in that day, mm -hmm. there's no marriage. No giving in marriage. There's no giving in marriage. No giving in marriage. For ye shall be like the angels, right. and ye shall be called the children of the resurrection. And the Bible talk about Jesus. He was the first begotten of the dead. So if we're going to be the children of the resurrection, and when we see him, we shall be like him. Then, and then we got the change. That's right. And I'm waiting for the change. So yes, viewers, Jesus Christ is God, was God, going to be God, and shall forever be God. Amen. No, that body of flesh and blood was not God. No, God had never had a birthday. No. 
God don't have a mother. No, God is not begotten. That's right. No, God has never been close to 50 years old. Amen. God is called the ancient of days. Ancient of days. All you got to do is remember God's nature. That's right. The nature of God is spirit. Spirit. The nature of the Son of God is human. There's a separation in nature. That's right. Human, divine. Divine. Human is subject to divine. Human is anointed by the divine. By the divine. Human bear the title apostle. The divine is the preacher in the apostle. That's right. Do you get me? Amen. This is a great mystery. The Bible said that I speak. Mm -hmm. It's a great mystery. All right. I hope you get this. So you can tell it right now or make your comments. Make your comments, you know, like you always do when you watch the messages on Internet. And, uh, and for once, why don't you come out of your screen and come on in here? Yeah. Yeah. That's what you do. Barry Carr. Barry. Hey, Barry. Tim. Hmm. Tim Coley, all you fellas. Come on in here. Bring your Bible. And see if Pastor Jenner don't take the word of God and make a liar out of all of you. That Listen at Pastor Jenner's now, because you shouldn't let me get away with this. <laughs> listen. I invite any preacher and every preacher to meet me face to face and prove to the public that flesh and blood is in heaven. heaven. Flesh and blood ain't never went to heaven. heaven. Somebody told me about one little eighth of an inch by eighth of an inch maggot that posed as a preacher who read the scripture how the Lord was riding on a horse and written upon this thigh and blood was the word of God and the sad preacher said flesh and blood went in heaven one time you fool fool you can't break the scripture you got to connect them They don't know. No. And these people follow these weak, sad, blind preachers. How many of you will get in the car with a blind taxi driver? Lord. Imagine, Uber. Man, come up blind. Open the door. Come on. Where you want to go? <laughs> Where you want to go? Would you get in the car with him? No way. You're intelligent enough not to get in the car or not even a bike. Can you imagine a blind man, a traffic cop? I mean 100% blind. Everybody might as well prepare to die. The moment you go down that street, have your will with you. That's right. You people that's wasting your time in these fake churches, flesh and blood is in heaven. Tell your pastor to come tell Pastor Jennings that. Amen. And see if I don't get the Bible and trim his hips down. <laughs> and I do it with the word of God. Word. Flesh and blood ain't never been in heaven. No son of God came from heaven. No son of God was begotten in heaven. No flesh and blood is coming for the church. The Bible said the Lord himself That's right. shall descend That's from heaven with the shout, the voice of an archangel, and the dead in Christ shall rise. The Lord himself is God. Right. Know ye the Lord that he is God. And the nature of God is spirit. Right. We shall be what? Like, like him. him. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters.